Hi, this is Sydney. In this video, I wanted to share uh, insights about how our egoic mind plays out. Are you aware when you are complaining? Are you aware when you are blaming? So I really want you to observe when you get activated or triggered next time and start to complain that how this is not fair, how you're resentful, angry. What can you discover from your stories? What we are doing unconsciously, it's something that we want to understand first is that what is ego and how that plays out. Ego likes to prove itself that it's right or better or superior. In the moment of complaining, what are we doing? We are actually justifying. So complaining is a form of justifying to ourselves through the narrative, through the stories we generate. You see the link here? So the stories are created by the ego and it's not who you are, but the ego is activated. So the ego is creating this, but why do we feel like that is who I am? It's because we attach ourselves to the story. We see that story as who I am, you see? Because of the link, the attachment, the identification through those stories, we start to believe and see that as who I am. So basically, when you're angry in an unconscious state, you are triggered in anger and you get angry. And in that moment, you're unconscious. The moment you get angry, you are anger. You think that anger is who you are and you try to justify and make an enemy out of something because the basis of anger is the fear, meaning that someone is trying to harm me so I feel threatened and I get angry. Urgh. Anyone that comes near me, I'm going to bite you. It's a trauma-based reaction. So. When that happens, we are creating stories to justify ourselves in a way to what? Protect our ego. Ego likes to feed on identities. So now we are creating stories and creating enemies. So the others are, are, are my enemy and I am the innocent, good person. So I'm constantly proving to myself and as I share this story with friends and people right, I am telling them that I am right and they are wrong and they've done something wrong to me so what's really happening is at the same time you are creating these stories to feed your ego to feel superior in that situation the truth is you're actually feeling inferior meaning you feel like a victim. You are a victim, the others are the enemy. And you are trying to guard yourself against the harm that's coming to you. And so what? They are my enemy. They did something wrong to me. They did injustice to me. This is not fair. I really want you to look at your stories. The moment you complain, you are trying to feed your ego that you are right. Who's becoming your enemy often? Who do you see or identify as your enemy? The reason why I do that is we feel we don't have the power to protect ourselves because if we trust ourselves if something happens okay i know how to handle this i have the power to protect myself i have the power to stay in love but we are afraid that something will overpower us you see so the basis the root of all this is fear so we really want to look at the root of your own fear and once you acknowledge that fear we no longer fear because once we understand what we fear, we no longer fear because we are afraid of the unknown. We create fear of the unknown, you see? So that's the process of inner work, reflecting and really observing and having these kind of insights through education. So now whenever you are triggered and you find yourself complaining or blaming the situation or other people or a particular person 
But am I trying to prove to other people? Why do I want to feel right in this situation? Why do I see myself? Why do I assume that I'm a victim in the situation? What is the pain that's arising when you feel angry or feel injustice or feel resentful? What are you doing after you feel that? So these are all things that you want to be aware of first in order for you to understand your own patterns. And based on understanding your own patterns, we can repattern and we can see the pain in our stories and we can start to what release those pain. So that's the process. So I hope this helps and if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. If you're interested in what I'm offering, you can check that out on my website. That's sydneycha.com. That's S-I-D-N-E-Y-C-H-A.com. And today is a Pisces in full moon, so it's really good time to tune into your emotion and allow it to flow, surrender and release what's no longer serving you and feel all and feel everything and acknowledge and accept so you can move forward. So I'm going to end it here and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.